The hardest thing I've ever had to overcome was to be at my mother's bedside watching her die. Prognosis is probably I'd never walk again. A year ago she was diagnosed with stage four cancer. We didn't even know. And then I remember that one morning I woke up and I was in complete darkness. And my whole life was falling apart. I wanted to get out so bad and couldn't. I think what happens is when we're faced with trauma or crisis or when we're faced with a difficult time, there's an event that sets that off. And the brain freezes an image and takes a snapshot, and that's called a memory. The latest research on memory says when you tell the story of that past experience, 50% of what people talk about isn't even the truth. Our minds are causing all our suffering. In every situation, there's a space between the situation and how you respond to it. All beliefs are just choices. You know, you can choose to believe this or you can choose to believe that. How can people that are so brilliant be broke and somebody else who is functionally illiterate become a multimillionaire? How does that happen? It happens because of the programming in our subjective mind. What we put our attention on grows stronger in our lives. In life, you will always be faced with a series of God-ordained opportunities brilliantly disguised as problems and challenges. And those are the life-defining moments often after tragedies. And so it's funny because my success was born out of the chaos. Everything that I ever thought was a problem turned out to be a gift. You look back and you actually are thankful for that thing. How low you've gone is how high you rise. Well, there's studies on this. People have achieved great heights and success, often had huge losses before. You would not be here if you hadn't survived everything that ever happened to you, which proves to you you can survive this. Being unsinkable to me means I must find a way up and out. Shift your mind and you will shift your life.